Hello everyone, welcome back, and thank you for joining us on the Live Unreal with Glover You podcast, where every week, Jeff Glover will dive deep into the questions that you are asking. He understands the challenges you're facing on a day-to-day basis because he still works every day on the front lines of real estate, with him and his team closing over 1,000 homes per year. Today, Jeff will continue the secrets of a listing-based business with secret number two and three, step up your FISBO and expired game, and use the hot buyer method. We'll learn from Jeff why phone calls are not enough and you need to step up your prospecting game. Now, let's hear from Jeff Glover. Secret number two. Secret of a listing-based business today in 2019, I want you to step up your for sale by owner and expired game. Step up your for sale by owner and expired game. In a hot seller's market, yes, there are less expireds. So we spend time working the old ones. There are more for sale by owners. So I would encourage you, if you're kind of like, well, I've been pretty good with, with expireds all my career, I would sh- encourage you to shift gears and start focusing on for sale by owners. Because as long as listings are scarce, for sale by owners will be plentiful. Market shifts, for sale by owners go away, expires increase. Okay, don't just do the typical calling anymore. Go to their door, send direct mail, text, find them on social media. I hated door knocking, and so I made it a penalty. If I didn't have an appointment to go on, right? So I always had my calendar. Basically, you know, 5 to 6.30 was set aside for appointments. I'm blocked off from 5 to 6.30. So if I didn't have an appointment that day, I was forced to go door knock. And so who would I door knock? I would door knock for sale by owners and expires, and every now and then I would do some circle prospecting door knocking. Door knocking is very effective because it's face to face. They're less likely to slam the door in your face versus hanging up on you, which they can do easily nowadays. I wrote down secret number three in a listing based business. Utilize the hot buyer, no inventory method. Utilize the hot buyer, no inventory method. What is the hot buyer, no inventory method? A couple things you can do. It's either phone calls or direct mail. We have a buyer looking in your neighborhood. Who do you know that's looking to sell? You can call into a neighborhood. Well, what if I don't have a buyer for their neighborhood? Do you have a buyer for their city? Well, yeah, I have a buyer for their city. We have a buyer for your neighborhood. Define neighborhood. We have a buyer for your neighborhood. Who do you know that's looking to buy or sell? Well, it's funny you should call. You have a buyer for my neighborhood? I might be open to selling. Great. When can I come out and take a look at your property and see if it'd be a good fit for them? We have a buyer in your neighborhood. That script, by the way, Hot Buyer No Inventory script is online at GloverU.com. Thank you for taking your time to join Jeff today on the Live Unreal with GloverU podcast. To get started on having a listing-based business, take the listing agent self-assessment. After you complete the assessment, a member of GloverU will get on a call with you to create an action plan to improve your score. Go to www.gloveru.com slash listing. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe. Search for Live On Real with GloverU on iTunes, Podbean, or Spotify, and subscribe today. Until next time, remember, in a hot seller's market, there are less expireds and there are more for sale by owners.